Hi there, welcome to the 30 Days of Tush. This is day three, and today we are doing the side leg lift series, which is a portion of a Pilates mat series, actually, but it really, really does get the bottom half. So we're gonna come into a lying down position where you are in a straight line as if your ankles, hips, shoulders, and palm were all resting in one straight line. Your free hand is gonna be in front of you. Pull the abs in and do not rest the bottom side into the mat. There may not be space there, but you're just lifting. So the ribs and hips are still stacked even though you are lying down. Do not give in to gravity. Taking your top leg, lifting it up, pointing the toes, flex to lower. Stretch to lift, flex to lower. It is best to allow your hips to stay facing forward so you're not going all the way up to your height. So you can kick it really high, right? I can kick high, but my whole lower half is being compromised and my ribs have to fall back. Basically, my lower back takes over. So if you can keep it so that you're only going as high as you can maintain your hips not turning out, it is better. Keep the leg lifted, pull the abs tight, and do little circles. It is also better for your upper body. If you avoid holding your head up this way, it's really not great for neck alignment, and it is more challenging to keep the arm lengthened, go the other direction. Keep the abdominals in lengthening through the legs, so you're not just holding the leg there and doing circles and letting everything bounce and wiggle. Keep everything as straight as you can. Hold the leg there, flex your foot. Flex the lower leg as well. You can utilize your free hand for support as you lift the bottom leg to meet the top and lower back down. Lift and lower. If you can easily get the bottom leg up to meet the top, challenge yourself by bringing the top leg higher. Eight. Three. Two. Keep the belly in nice and tight. Lower both legs down together. Lift them up together. We're going to use our exhale to press up. Now this is where we most commonly, or one, would most commonly kind of roll back onto their butt cheek to lift and you'd lift more in a pike position. We wanna keep the ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders directly in line so that you are only digging really into the side of the hip. If you do not have a cushy mat, this will be kind of uncomfortable for the bottom hip, which is kind of awesome because it's bone density building. So you're stacking the hips and one hip is actually building bone density in the other. Lift the legs up, hold there and start to paddle one leg forward, one leg back. Eight, seven, abs are tight. Five, four, three, two, hold, squeeze the legs, lift them higher and release. Going into a bent knee position. The knees bend, but we're not pulling the legs in front in a 90 degree angle where the, you're sitting in a chair. You're keeping the ankles behind you as if they were against the wall, as well as your hips and shoulders are. How you can tell if your hips are stacked properly is your knees should stack up one on top of the other. The ankles stay together, the abs stay in, the ribs lifted open and close like a clamshell. And same idea here, you can go too high and drop the hip backwards. We want to keep the hips stacked one on top of the other as if they've been pinned right down to the floor. And it may help you to feel as also as though your bottom leg is being pushed down into the mat as well. Five, four, three, two, lift and lower like a book cover. I like to say that this is like a soap opera uh, present, you know, when you always saw the people in your, if you watch soap operas, get a present in the box top. Always just came off. They never really had to unwrap it. So cool. I never get a present like that. Pull the abs in tight. Lift the ankle up higher than the knee and lift and lower. Up and down. Keep the rib to hip connection super tight. You should be feeling or start to feeling the glutes, abs pulling in, shoulders dropping down. Your abs are in super tight the whole time. And we're gonna go into bicycling here. So back to parallel, gigantic bikes. As you do this bicycling motion, the ribs have to stay steady because you will feel like you're getting more out of it if you're moving and rocking because there'll be more motion. But as in most things in bar sculpt, big doesn't mean right. Keeping it small, isolating is how we get better and how we make changes. Now reverse direction. You can point our flex, it's up to you. Really reach back. Challenge yourself as you go back. Keep the ribs pulling back as well. For three, two, 
and a one. We're gonna bend the knee one more time. Push the knee back in line with the hip. So knee, hip, and shoulder are all in line. Ribs are pulled in. We're gonna do little pulses back. 10, nine, squeeze the glutes as you push. Six, especially that top working thigh and glute is working hard. Four, three, two, and release down. To do the other side, please just play the tape again and reverse your position on the mat. Thank you so much, have a great day.